everyone. Hello everyone, I am back with a picture perfect super size mini album, my first. It's the volume four. This album features the Simple Stories Kissing Booth paper. And I'm showing you the cover right now with some a chipboard banner on the top and a little die cut piece, another little banner on the bottom. And that chipboard is a very thin chipboard. I also decorated the cover with some flowers and two photo spots, a lot of chipboard, um, the word love you, two flourishes, and of course pattern paper. Love this paper. That spine is about eh, two and a half inches, I would say. And I love this damask paper. I think it's just so pretty. This collection, I, would, I was going to mix it, but for some reason, the collection was so spot on, except for one sheet of paper, which I'll talk about later, <laughs> that I used it. I had to buy more of it, actually, because I didn't want to mix it with any other paper. So right now I'm looking at the inside front pocket, and there you can see some photo mats. And I stuck a piece of the chipboard on top. As you can see, that chipboard has a really low profile, which I like. So I didn't have to pull off, you know, the um, extra height off the back. Sometimes I end up doing that and have to stick it down with wet glue. And I did a little collage there where you can see some die cut pieces and stuff. On the right side, this is a little flip up assembly. It's like, a, I guess you could call it a deconstructed pocket. Flip down there, you see that's a photo mat. And then of course, Kathy's famous bumpers, two side bumpers to hold in photo mats. You can fit about four or five photo mats. I mean, you can't go like eight or 10. I think it would be too bulky and it would probably fly open. On the back of that um, pocket assembly, you can stick a photo mat, but of course I was enjoying the paper. I'm just gonna put the photo mat throughout just to show you how you can add a lot of photos to this entire album. Here we have the expanded pocket and you can fit a good amount of photographs in there matted, unmatted, tags, everything, because it's expandable. And flipping it over, here's another one of those, um, I guess you call this a, a flip pocket. Let me open it up. Flip, photo flip. <laughs> oh, and there's some photo mats. And most of my photo mats I did put down with the um, removable glue dot. And it has a center pocket there. So it's a little page assembly, pocket assembly. Flip it back, flip it back, then you flip it up. Here I put two more photo mats and a strip of pattern paper with a little circle in the middle, little um, die cut piece backed up by a circle punch. And here I left this spot open and that fits two four by six. You can do it vertically or horizontally. And over to the right here, there's a pocket and you can stick in a few photo mats. I sort of, even though it's an acetate pocket, I kind of like not having the mats in there. I like it like that, <laughs> open. And there's also a side loading pocket and you can put a photo mat on that. I just was trying to reduce the bulk. Slide that back in, flip it over. And now this is the reveal. Two big flaps that reveals this whole assembly of photo mats, like a collage of photo mats, or just pattern paper, wh whichever you like. Um, different sizes. I played with, you know, 8x10, 5x7, 3x3, 4x6, 4x5, all different sizes. Flip it back, and because I use the removable glue dots, I can always go back in and then change it later. You can stick a photo mat there or just, uh, just stick photographs on it. And this is another pocket assembly. Two photo mats on the flaps. Flip out the bumpers. And here I, I made a little booklet, Lovebirds. You can stick photographs or journaling in there. Journal with a white pen. Close it up back. And most of these are closed with a magnet. So I definitely did that. 
and those chipboard pieces. I love the low profile. And that's one whole page assembly attached to one hinge. So it's, it's substantial on each hinge. <laughs> so there's three hinges in this album, which means three page assembly. This is the second page assembly, and this is the third page assembly. Normally, most albums have, you know, between five and six. Here, it's three, but it's not too much. It's not too heavy. Here's another one of the expandable pockets. Tuck in those tag and photo mats. Here, here I go again with that pocket assembly, sticking a photo mat underneath that little collage. Over to the right side, that's a little bit bigger than a five by seven. Flip it open, photo mats. Flip it open again, and there's a pocket. Now this graphic paper with the uh, script on it, it's one that I realized I really didn't love. That's the only sheet of paper, I think, in this entire collection that just was like, I used it and then I regretted using it. <laughs> I love the stripes. I love the flowers. I love the whole plaid and everything. It's gorgeous. Right here, I can put another photo mat. You can put photo mats here too. And as I said, you could do them vertically or horizontally. Resize them. Put four of them. Put four four by fours. And I try to keep those lines, those horizontal lines. I, I used it both vertically and horizontally. I just love the stripes. And what you see there now was something I sort of invented while I was playing. It was the pull tab photo mat in the red included in the mat. So you, so you make two mats and then I just used an X-Acto knife and did a thin slice and then slide the paper in. Um, right here now, this is another one of those flaps that flip out, but I took off one, so it's only three sides instead of full four, like what you saw before. Just trying to reduce some of the bulk, and just to vary it up a little bit. Here are some different photo mats in different sizes. I tend to go for the bigger photo mats, the traditional sizes. I'm not a big fan of the one by two and all that type of sizes. And here's a back pocket. Did a little, you know, playing with paper, cutting it with the shape. Here I did a little photo mat, added a, a tab punch to it. I created my own little pocket here. That um, cutout shape was a die. And I just scored the paper, made a pocket, and then now it's like a pocket envelope. I think I'll be revisiting that again in the near future. Kind of fun, actually. Instead of buying it, right? <laughs> That's the second page assembly. Next page here now, I turn the expandable pockets horizontally. So it's tacked. You can do them two, or you can do one big one. I decided to do two. I just was thinking it's just cute. And there you can see the exposed magnet. I don't mind seeing that. And the acetate, I put the pattern paper up against the acetate. Here, there's another photo journaling, not photo journaling, photo mat spot. I added an extra flap. This is the paper I was talking about. This paper is driving me absolutely crazy. I really, so there now you can use the photo mats to cut down the graphic nature of the paper, I should say, which I will. Here's a pocket. I prefer the pocket, I prefer the paper on the right side. Where the little hearts, the little dots, it's just cute. But that, that paper, that other paper, just driving me, ugh, I don't like it anymore. It happens. Here now I added onto the two big flaps that leads out to that four-page spread. I added two little low-profile pockets. And then in them, look how much I could fit in them. And there was still space. I could fit maybe four or five photo mats on each side without adding too much bulk. So that turned out to be really nice. And of course, yes, I'm using the stripes again. I am in love. Stripes and polka dots. That's my wheelhouse with flowers too. Stripes and flowers. Fun and excitement. All right, flip it open here. And this is where the same four page spread comes into play. And even though I just said I don't really like the one by two, I just put it there. But they're not adhered permanently so I can lift them off and change it out. You can turn it into a journaling spot at the bottom anyway. 
Um, here now, I have more photo, photo mats. And I put a piece of journaling card in front of it. These are five by fives, playing with that wonderful striped floral paper and that damask paper. Oh, lovely, lovely. Flip it over. I love this. This is like, it looks like coral candy, coral Valentine's candy. Here you can put photo mats on it. Of course, you can put a photo mat on both sides. And the, this, this album is so big that you could have eight by tens throughout, five by sevens throughout, and it will not look like where you're going with all these big photographs. It's your album and it can fit it. This album is, I would say 11 by nine. That's the cover. So the super size volume four, you get a lot out of it. Here, showing you how you can fill it up with the bumpers. Oh, love this, love this paper. And it all worked well. I didn't even need to go looking for a second pack to put with it. I just had to buy more of the same kissing booth paper. Love the stripes and the damask. Yes, I'm saying it again. I could have done the whole album in the stripes and the damask. <laughs> Here, here's two photo mats with little, um, what do you call it? Ta uh, tab to toppers. Oh, I need to eat something. I think my brain is going. <laughs> but I wanted to get this get this album loaded up here on YouTube before, you know, Valentine's is already over. I didn't want it to be, you know, St. Patrick's Day and then I'm doing the album, loading up the album. This album was fun. Um, fully loaded. Get the tutorial from Kathy at Paper Phenomenon. Supersized Volume 4. She has like six versions of supersized this was one of my favorite all right everybody thanks so much for watching see you again soon